If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hello everyone, welcome back to another deck profile. Today we brought back Nirvana Java. It took long enough, but we finally made it. Java's good. New support uh, has Star Virena, so, or Straw Virena, actually. So instead of using just one Trick Star and two prayer, or one Prayer Dragon, you have to use two Prayer Dragons and a Trick Star. We got a lot of like morphing going on at this deck. So this is the uh, new crossover dress, uh, only crossover dress deck profile. So there's no hybrid going on with this build, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been putting together, playing around with. It's a very, very simple, straightforward deck. It's not like kind of, too gimmicky and I'm still kind of playing around with the ratios with the new support. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've been playing with. So let's just jump right into the deck profile. Starting off the red line is exactly the same. Got our Reno, our Rayu, and our nice little uh, deluxe Shava, like in the way that looks in the red line. And we got my adorable Sunrise Egg. I just love, love this artwork. It's so cute. Straightforward red line. Reno gets you uh, Trickstar. Rayu lets you look at top seven to find a prayer dragon. So kind of going from there and Java restands your unit that's in the crossover dress state for a counterblast. Also lets you discard a card to grab a prayer dragon and a trick star from drop, throwing them both together to make crossover dress a little bit easier. So that's it for the ride deck. Nothing crazy there um, to the main deck. Starting off with grade threes, three more Java, Persona ride. That's pretty much it because Persona ride is pretty good. Then we got three copies, or sorry, four copies of the new card, which is Blazing Holy Sword Equip Straw Virena. So what this does is you have to crossover dress one trick star and two or more prayer dragons. You can pick multiple, not just the two. Front row during your turn, if this is in the crossover dress state, this gets 10K. Your Vanguard with Nirvana gets triple drive and 10K. So keyword, it does get triple drive, meaning Elementaria will stop it. So that's just something to keep an eye on. The rearguard skill is when this unit in the crossover dress state is stood by your Vanguard's ability. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, you can kind of blast one and all of your talisman and prayer dragon rear guards stand. So redundant if I said the word stand twice, but so all of your crossover dress units, your Virenas, those are all talismans. And then your prayer dragons are the things that make your crossover dress units. So basically you can stand your board. Then continuing the skill, if this unit has five or more original dress, you can remove all the markers from your opponent's rear guard and retire all of your opponent's rear guards as well. So if you want to, you can kind of go, go big. Basically you gotta have the full board because you have to have four prayer dragons, your one trick star to have your five original dress. And then you can retire your opponent's whole board. That's if you want to make a full board that way and use that for that. I don't know how you're going to restand a board, but you know, it's there if you want to, you know, retire your opponent's board, but mostly this is just for multi-attacking you. Swing, swing, swing a van, restand. This helps you restand everything else. So this is just a really good card for multi-attack and it gives your Vanguard triple drive. So definitely want to see four of this just so that you can uh, get it onto the board. Going under grade twos, we are counter blasting a bit. So we do need Mirrors Virena to kind of help with that. So what Mirrors does is when it's placed in the crossover dress state, you pick two cards with Virena from your drop zone, put them into the original dress. Then when this attacks, you can detach an original dress, Virena, to draw a card or counter charge one. So that means if you restand this, you can swing, counter charge, restand for a counter blast, swing again for a counter charge. But we do need a counter charge. So we're running the Mirrors Virena. Then we're running Three Vils, just because Vils is good to just kind of add more Virenas from drop into your hand. Since we are going to be running um, the Mirrors equipped grade one that filters Virenas in your drop, being able to cross over dress and grab more cards in your hand is pretty helpful. Also, you are running four straw Virenas. So if you discard one for your right deck cost, Vils is able to help you get it back. So when you cross over dress, pick a crossover dress unit with a different card name from this unit, goes to hand, and then this gets, when it's on rear guard circle, if it's in the crossover dress state, it gets 5k power, 10k shield, cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So you can intercept for a good little 15 shield, which is helpful, and it's permanently on the board, which is also nice. And then lastly for grade twos, I am running four copies of that new Prayer Dragon. Just make a little room here. Four copies of, full name is Blazing Heavenly Render Equip Dragon. 
Aparahea. This is actually just a really, really good card. Just the fact that it's just when placed other than from deck. So you can call from the drop zone or from hand. Soul Blast 1, discard a card from your hand. Search your deck for up to one prayer dragon. Call it to rear. Just fill in your board, which is really nice. Then you shuffle your deck. When this becomes an original dress, you draw a card. Choose this outer dress. And until the end of your opponent's next turn, it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. Meaning that you're... It's going to stick to the board. It's going to stay. Your opponent's not going to blow it up, retire it, prison it. So this is really helpful for the permanence, which is nice. Also being able to make a board, which is really cool. So you just call this, Soul Blast 1, discard a card, grab a Prayer Dragon out of your deck. It's deck thinning. So definitely running four copies of this. It's a go-to Prayer Dragon for the deck. I really, really like the support that we got from set 13 for Firing. It's really, really cool. Going on to grade 1s, it's super, super, super simple. I am running four copies of Gollum, Growlinger Mirror, Growlinger Mirror, the Mirror Grade One. When this becomes an original, or when this, yeah, when this becomes an original dress, you Soul Blast. Look at top seven. Choose two cards of Irina. One goes to hand, the other goes to drop. If you only found one, it goes to your hand. So we're doing this just because I do want to find my Mirrors Virenas, my Straw Virena, the Vils I can kind of get away with, but it's I really want to be able to find. The Virenas I'm looking for, and I do need mirrors for the counter charge. And the other prayer dragons cost counter blasts, or they have the other new prayer dragon, which you soul blast and you give it the ability where they have to guard two or more at a time, which is basically just Garu Virena. I don't really know if I ever feel like I, the Garu Virena effect was like, oh man, this is so good. Like I'm pressuring my opponent to guard two at a time. Never really felt that way. I kind of ended up dropping Garu down to one, but I just want the Galamir just so that I have easier access to this card when I'm discarding it and drawing through it and looking for it. So I might drop it down to three, run another prayer dragon, but for consistency sake, I'm running it at four right now. It might seem a little much, but we're working on it. Then I'm running one Strigilo. I know, crazy, we're running the Strigilo at one, but we're not running any overdressed cards, so no need to draw Virena Arcs. It's only really there to get the Trickstar. So you play it down, you can grab a Trickstar. Or when this becomes an original dress, you can have less one to grab a Trickstar from drop call to rear to make another crossover dress unit. So the Strigilo is very techy, so we're just keeping it at the one. So that's it for the Prayer Dragons, pretty much. But lastly, for grade ones, we got our three PGs and our one Elementaria. So nothing, nothing crazy there. The MVP of the deck, Trickstar. So for Trickstar, it's cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects, but it's literally what makes the deck function. So we got four of them. I've seen decks that are running three. I've seen decks that are running two in the main deck. One is the starter. I'm still messing around with all of these uh, cool little ideas. The idea of running three is kind of tempting just because it seems like you, for the most part, are only gonna be on these two and they stay on the board because of protection. So that seems like a fun idea. Still sticking with the four. We're sticking with it. Maybe I'll drop it down for another Prayer Dragon, but I'll let you guys know. Triggers, also super simple. Burning Flail, it's a crit with the skill. Vanilla Crit, so we have eight crit. We got our draw triggers. Uh, I don't think I ever really want to run fronts in the crossover dress deck just because I need to see pieces, especially if we have to cross two Prayer Dragons and one Trick Star, so definitely want to draw into some cards. Then I'm running three Vanilla Heels, and I've been testing this out. It's Stealth Fiend Terra Terra Rihime. Terahime. This is the heal trigger where if your opponent's vanguard grade is greater than your vanguard, this gets 10 shield. I'm messing around with this because we have a lot of grade four and stride decks coming up. We got Bastion Prime a little bit. Ignis is a meta deck, uh, Jeweled. Then we have Chronojet, Messiah obviously, and then we have Shirinui and Luard coming up. This is also nice because if you're not going first and you're kind of falling behind and taking a little bit of damage after your opponent's big explosive grade three turn, you at least have this to help you know, kind of keep up. I kind of see myself running more of these. I'm playing around with the one just to see how helpful this is. But uh, I think I might kind of, as we start transitioning into the Shiranui meta, this is gonna start popping up a little bit more. Last but not least, Drag Veda, because it's the best OT the Dragon Empire has got. It just restands your Vanguard. So obviously that's kind of good, especially given the fact that, uh, you know, Strava Arena's effect is not once per turn. Meaning that if you have four open counter blasts and you restand your vanguard, you can just swing with this again and then restand your whole board again. So, um, yeah, that that 
in theory would be a really, really crazy combo if you did get the drag beta off. So, but yeah, that's it for the triggers. Uh, and that's also kind of it for the main deck. Uh, I'm gonna real quickly kind of show you guys what the main playstyle of the deck is and uh, give you guys an idea of how fun this deck can be. So we'll just jump right into that right now. All right, so kind of showing what the turn will basically look like. Got a little mock hand here. So we're gonna go ahead, grade two turn. We're gonna draw for turn. And let's just go ahead and discard to ride Java. Now we use Ray's effect. We can look at the top seven and add a prayer dragon. Five, six, seven. Got it off the seventh card. So we got our prayer dragon and now we can start making a little board. Fortunately enough, we do have a prayer dragon and a trick star in the drop. So we can just kind of start discarding stuff and start calling stuff. So we can call trick star and call the Arapehaya. Arapehaya, yeah, I said that right. We can soul blast one. We can then also discard a card. Let's just discard Fla Flare Veil and then we can grab another Prayer Dragon. So now it'll be easier for us to go into Straw Virena. So maybe we just go ahead and go right into that. Crossover Dress using Paraha, Mirrors, and Trickstar into Straw Virena. So we got a few effects we can do first. So we'll start with the Mirrors. We'll Soul Blast one, look at the top seven. Then from among those seven, we got two Virenas. One will go to hand and the other will go to drop. So I'll put the mirrors in my hand and then the straw virena will go to drop. And now, if we wanted to, we could actually do another overdress. So we can call Strigilo. If you wanted to, you could use Strigilo's skill for some more deck thing if you, depending on how aggro you want to be, but let's go for it. Let's discard a card. Let's search the deck for a trick star, you know? Why not? And then we can cross over dress these two. And now we can use the effect of Mirrors Virena. We can add, we just so happen to have two Virenas in our drop that we can work with here. We're gonna put those back in and now we can start swinging with stuff. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's see, let's swing with this because this is weaker first. So I know we don't have anything to counter charge yet, but bear with me, it makes more sense to do it in this order because it's gonna stand anyways. So. Let's go ahead and swing, do the skill. Remove, nothing to counter charge, so let's draw some cards. Swing again for 23, because it gets 10K. Vanguard swings for 23 with triple drive, because we get the 10K from Strava Arena. We're gonna counter blast, restand it. Then we can use Strava Arena, and we can counter blast again after this restands to stand all of our talisman. So now we have two more attacks. So we had two more attacks, Vanguard's got triple drive, and we're just kind of pressuring at this point, right? So one, two, crit. Where we want to put it? Well, it doesn't really make too much of a difference where we put it, so maybe we'll just put it on this one because it's bigger. Third check, nothing. Another swing, and we can do a swing again. This time we'll drop a Virena for a counter charge. And then that's pretty much like what you're doing for your turn. We got a pretty decent hand here just to kind of make up for next turn. So this has protection. This honestly could go, let's say maybe someone intercepts or they swing at it, something of the sort, take another damage. Maybe we need a PG, discard the trick star for the PG and we drop another uh, 30 shield there. I'm gonna restand, whoop, restand all of our units, draw for turn, get that persona ride. Fortunate that we drew the, <laughs> drew the OT, but we were, we were gonna have to work with it. So then now let's just go right into using Nirvana skill. So we do definitely have a trick star. So we can call those two out and immediately cross over dress again. If you had the grade two, you could have called the grade two, soul blast one, call it another prayer dragon after you discarded. But for now, we're just working with what the deck's given us. So let's go to those top seven, seven. This is gonna go to our hand. And with mirrors is skill, two Virenas from the drop zone. I'm gonna use the threes preferably. We're gonna go in there and we're just gonna do the same process all over again. Five attacks, so swing. Maybe we need to draw, do we need to counter charge? I think we're good, let's draw a card. Swing. Swing has triple drive, we'll counter blast, restand our rear guard. Skill, counter blast again, restand our other rear guard. Triple drive, one, draw trigger, two, crit. Swing again for 33 and then maybe swing for a 30. This time we'll do the drop and uh, I think our hand's pretty okay, so we'll do a counter charge. 
and you just kind of go from there. Depending on what you do, honestly, since we have the counter blast, you could just do that just for the extra 5K, call this, and then you can use the Phil Spirena, grab something back, and then you can use the Stragilo, get a nice little 5K booster, throw that back there, you know? You know, since we're kind of pushing for game here, you know, we're, we're thinning out, we're getting our triggers, we're multi-attacking. Like, Virena is actually kind of a play, playable deck now with Nirvana Java and all the crossover dress shenanigans that you can do. I think this deck has finally reached the point where it's, it's the most fun. It's always been a fun deck, but it's always getting better. So I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to have some more games with this. So thank you guys for watching the video. That's pretty much it for the deck profile. Be sure to check out 50 cards for your bundles. We got the triple drive booster coming up. So definitely want to pick up bundles for that. We got Shiri Nui and Luard coming up. So we want to look into that. And there's deck boxes, play mats, whatever you guys are interested for your Vanguard or Shadowverse needs. Also, be sure to check out Dragon Shield. I am using Dragon Shield sleeves for this deck. So these are the Valentine Dragon Sleeves. So you can also, if you want to pick up some character sleeves or some nice outer sleeves for your character sleeves, you can go to Dragon Shield as well. And you can use code Nexus to get 5% off on your Dragon Shield sleeves. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.